At Little Hall Primary School in Preston, Andrew Foster is using voting technology, also known as learner response systems, to help teach numeracy to his year six pupils. There are several types of voting technology on the market. Today, Andrew is using learning clip resources in conjunction with Promethean Active Expression voting devices. The learning clip software contains over 400 pre-prepared activities covering the whole primary maths curriculum. Now, first of all, I want you to actually send me a little message. What are fractions? You can type it in, as few words as possible. It doesn't have to be right. You can individually ask every pupil a question one-on-one -on -one and see what they're actually coming back with. And it means that children, the shy children, or the children who don't like to put their hands up, aren't getting left out. Let's see what we got. Now, these look pretty good. A half, a section of an amount, an amount of something. What else have we got? Part of a number. I think that really sorts it out. It's a number which is less than one. Let's just see what you think about fractions at the moment. If you could decide whether you think fractions are easy peasy or very hard, what would your choice be? Let's see. Well, some people which are happy, lots of people in the middle, and then some people which are thinking it's ooh, very hard down here. Right, get your voting pads. Can you now tell me what is the improper fraction? Now you've got A, B, C, D. As the children answer questions, the colours green or red appear on the pie chart, green indicating a correct answer. Once the chart is full, Andrew knows that all the pupils have answered and also knows the proportion that has answered correctly or incorrectly. There we go. You've got the three pizzas and another third, ten thirds. Right, let's have a look at your scores. So, just pop your names off. Look at that, nearly everyone's got it right. And you can easily reveal the pupils' answers to specific questions, giving just enough time for each child to review their own answer. He removes the names, eliminating any embarrassment for those who got it wrong before people wouldn't want to put their hand up because they didn't want to get it wrong and feel silly in front of everyone else but now we're giving them lots of feedback about their own learning so they're you know building up their own confidence next andrew gets the pupils to work at their own pace through a set of questions in this case on mixed numbers and improper fractions actually you could talk about this in pairs so once you've done an answer just talk about it to your partner The voting technology instantly shows Andrew which pupils are struggling with particular questions. This allows him to dedicate time to individual children or to go over a concept again for the whole group. So I can have a look and see which is the question which we got wrong most. Now, this is the one which some, lots of people have struggled with. It says, how many quarters are there in free pizzas? What number system do you use to work that out very quickly? Times Your times tables, because you've got quarters, which is four, isn't it? You've got three, three times four equals 12 pieces. At the end of the lesson, Andrew asks the pupils to use their voting pads to let him know what they've learned about fractions. Right, we'll see what people actually learnt in this lesson. I've begun to feel more confident with my improper fractions and mixed numbers. I've learnt a fraction can be improper, mixed or proper. Excellent. So I think everyone feels a lot happier with that. You still need those same skills of questioning skills, of uh, planning a lesson, which you always did. But what you have is all this assessment, which means that you can always tell parents or the members of staff just how well a child is actually doing.